All right, guys. Anyone want to know how to run 32 kilohertz on a Matek F405? Stay tuned. Ooh, so you want to run 32 kilohertz? Well, to be fair, I started running 32 kilohertz about about say three months ago. I on a Matek F405. Um, You've, I had to overclock the CPU in order to do so uh, and obviously you need high end, well not high end ESCs but you need BL Heli 32 ESCs to be able to run it because you need to run DSHOT 1200 um, also your flight control is the main thing with this you know you can click if you click the 32 kilohertz sampling button on the configurator tab in beta flight if when you save and reboot it, if that stays activated, then your flight controller can run 32 kilohertz. If it doesn't, then you can't. Now the gyro that your flight controller needs to have is, I think it's an ICM 20602. Um, if you're running the MPU 6000, that can only handle 8K, so you can't run 32 kilohertz. You can only run 8K, 8K pid loops and gyro frequencies. Um, if you've got the ICM 20602, then it's quite a noisy gyro so you need to make sure you've got a lot of vibration vibration isolation on your quad therefore you know you need like the little Matek rubber standoffs and possibly even soft mounting your motors as well um, but 32 kilohertz it flies so much nicer um, the stick inputs feel more responsive but smooth uh, your motors sound but motors just sound nicer, they just sound really smooth, you don't get any jitter or nothing. Uh, unless obviously you've not got things soft mounted or you've got quite a noisy setup, in which case then you will get a bit of jitter and then you might have to step back to 16.8 uh, pid loop sampling instead of 32.16, um, which is what I currently run on both my chameleons. Um, yeah, so I will show you how to do it. Uh, we'll set everything up on beta flight and then I'll post a little video clip of running 32.16 alright guys, to right, so run 32 kilohertz you need to first of all connect to your quad which, why is this taking so long, there we go right, go into the configuration tab and set your ESC protocol to DSHOT1200 and you'll also need to enable 32 kilohertz sampling mode uh, on the Matek F405, if you run 32.32 for your gyro and pedal frequencies, you will tend to find that your CPU load will go to 100%. You can't run it like that. So what you do is you set your gyro update frequency to 32 kilohertz and set the pedal frequency to 16 kilohertz. Then <coughs> you'll find that your cycle times right down. Your CPU load still over 50%. So bring the bring the CPU load down what you need to do is go into CLI command and type in get CPU now upon overclocking your CPU you are going to cause a little bit more heat uh, within your flight controller I have been running my CPU 192 megahertz for the last three months and I've not had any issues I have the quad plugged in on the bench setting things up um, you know, it, it, it doesn't have airflow going over it quite a bit of the time, obviously, unless I'm flying, and I've not had any issues at all, so this is safe to do. So, once you've typed in the 192 megahertz, then you click enter. And click type in save. Hit enter. And then it will reboot your flight controller, and when you log back in, now down to 42, 43%, which is safe to fly at. I don't like running the flight controller any more than for, any more than 50%. So now that you've over, now I've overclocked the CPU, it's now brought the the load down on it because it's now running a little bit faster. So, I hope. so guys, I hope you found that helpful. I just get on 32 kilohertz. You will love it. Uh, keep an eye on your motor temperatures when you first when you first take it out. You know, go do a hover test and stuff first. Make sure everything's sweet. Uh, other than that, yeah, go for it. It's it's simply amazing. Um, click the subscribe button, which is somewhere down here for us, please, guys. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. You know all the usual stuff. Leave us a comment. You know if you've got a flight controller which you're running 32 kilohertz on, 
I'll bang that in so put that in the comments so the people know that you can write on that one. Alright, right, well, I'm going to get back to a bit of drip and I will uh, speak to you in a bit. Ta da, guys, bye. Listen up. It's never too late.